Hello, my name is Dr. Craig Selinger. I am Craig the Chiropractor. Hello everybody out there on YouTube land. Uh, today we're going to treat shoulder pain with IASTM. We're gonna also do a chiropractic adjustment as well. All right. We're gonna be treating shoulder pain using IASTM. And what that stands for is instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization. And today we're gonna to use different instruments. They're stainless steel. Uh, some of them are a bit longer like this and they don't have a sharp edge. They have a dull edge and we're gonna be using them in and around the shoulder. And, but when we have a patient that has had recurring shoulder pain and it's chronic shoulder pain, uh, it's been there for months then we can uh, use these instruments, and, and I believe actually they're more effective, uh, most effective in, in more of those conditions, more chronic shoulder pain. And we're going to use them to help reduce um, scar tissue and adhesions that have built up in, in the muscles uh, due to injuries or repetitive moves. Also, we're gonna help increase blood flow and nutrients to an area with this scraping type motion and inevitably it's going to lead to decrease in pain levels and increase in range of motion so those are things that we want the shoulders also has a, a relationship with the cervical spine with the neck and also the mid back thoracic spine so if those areas are not working properly uh, it can affect your shoulder, the way it moves, shoulder pain. So we, when we have a patient come in, we make sure we do a thorough exam. We want to rule out any neck involvement or mid-back involvement. So when you see these videos, a lot of times you will, might only see an excerpt of one thing that we're doing, but a lot goes into this. We want to make sure that it's safe to treat the patient and that there's nothing else going on that we don't know about that could be responsible for the person having uh, shoulder or, or arm pain especially. We treat a lot of patients that have shoulder pain in, in the office. Some patients are from an acute accident like a car accident or a sports related injury uh, and with that we're very gentle with these instruments and we don't do the treatment as long and we don't push as hard when we're doing the treatment. Alright so we're gonna get started here. Uh, first that thing we're gonna do is we're going to use a cream, or they call it an uh, emollient, and this is to put on the shoulder area. Um, and we're gonna do that here. We're gonna do it throughout some of parts of the treatment. And we're gonna start with um, some of the muscles, because she's sitting right now, over here just like this, and just gently coming in, uh, working some of the trapezius muscles and supraspinatus muscles and other muscles in or along the shoulder here. And how does that feel, okay. Diana? Really right? Good. It doesn't hurt, really right? Know. Good. Okay. All right. So we're going to have her switch to a face down position. And what I want you to do. Anna, is I want you to put your arm, yeah, like that. So what I'm going to have you do is lifting up and down, up and down when I tell you to. Okay. So we're going to be treating the the rhomboid muscles, which are in the mid back area, right in here. I'll do here, and I'm going to have you come, bring it up and down and up and down and up down you're okay yeah all right and down one more good okay i'll just grab the arm a little bit bring that in here like this and relax you could put that hand underneath your hip okay good and we're going to come up on the levator scapula area which is right in this area and just turn your head a little bit that way. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do a couple of other things. I'm going to have you bring your arm like that and then come like this. So move it like this and then like that. And you can use 
my knee right here, and you can go down like that, okay? Good, and I'm gonna have you go up and then down when I tell you, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. And up and down. Good, and up and down and up and down. Good, and just relax the arm, let it hang. Good, okay. Let's have you switch to your laying on your side. Yeah. Just slightly. I'm going to use this instrument and put pressure down while you're moving. Okay? Okay. So you're going to do this and then this. And when I tell you to corkscrew, you're going to bring your arm out like that. Okay? okay. And we're going to put this right under here. If it gets too ticklish, you let me know. Okay? Yeah. Bring the elbow down and then go up. Good. And up. Good. Good. So we. We're treating the teres major, the teres minor. Good, okay. And I'm gonna use another, this other instrument. A little bit here. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good, and there's a muscle in here. Mm -hmm. Two. Sometimes it's a little ticklish. Sometimes we have to get underneath we have to apply some pressure here. Good. And now I'm going to have you do that corkscrew. So we're going to turn and rotate. Turn, rotate. Good. Excellent. I'm going to have you lay on your back, okay? Now, I see a lot of different providers are doing this technique with the, the, the type of uh, scraping, um, like we talked about before, the either either it's Grossen technique or it's uh, another technique or instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization. And if you go too hard, you can uh, cause an injury. So it's really important to, to see someone that has experience doing this. And we don't want to push too hard because if we push too hard, the patient's going to contract and tighten up. And if they tighten up, it's going to be a painful experience for the patient. And, it, and also, uh, the, the, uh, the technique is not going to be as effective, okay? So we're going to do a couple of other areas that we're going to treat. So we're going to start out here, start out here, here like that. You feel that? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to have you come back up, okay? All right. And we're going to just gently move the instrument back and forth. And again, we can change the angle of the instrument and the, the pressure that I use, and we'll have a different depth uh, that we'll be able to treat the muscles. And what I'm gonna have you do is bring it up like that, okay? And go, and go, and go, good, good. Just relax right there. All right, so, Diana, be honest with me. Did this hurt a lot? No, it was okay. like in between. Okay. It's like a good pressure type okay. of good hurt. The, the areas that, that are typically very sensitive are the subscapularis muscle, when you go in by the armpit, that area, or when you go under the arm and you're, you're hitting some of the teres major and minor muscles, those can be sore and really tender. Um, this type of technique, we would typically see a patient twice uh, a week at least, about 10 sessions, and we would make sure, one, that they're not doing an activity when they leave the office that's gonna re-injure uh, the, the shoulder. Two, we want them to ice at home, very important. We're gonna also give them supportive stretches and exercises to do for the shoulder uh, as well, and we're gonna have them come in twice a week for about 10 to 12 sessions. So uh, with that done, I did mention before that the neck and the thoracic spine can also play a part in shoulder function. And we're going to check and adjust the neck, the mid back, uh, and the lower back today right now. All right, so let's get cracking. Okay.
Diana has been treated by me in the past, but I didn't mention that, she has been. We would do an exam, we would do x-rays if necessary. We want to make sure uh, that we did orthopedic tests, a full um, examination, and importantly to make sure that there's no other reasons why she has shoulder pain, we want to rule out fracture, or anything else like that, that can be a, a reason why you should not do the treatment. We want to make sure that we rule all of those things out. And right now we're going to start the adjustment and check the leg length. Uh, many times when the legs are uneven, can be an indication of a lower back or neck misalignment or we call a subluxation where the bones become misaligned and they can put pressure on nerves. I also check for springiness. When I'm palpating the spine, I, I try to check one side from another, different segments in the spine, and I see is there a lot of resistance in the joint or is there more joint play or like a springiness like when you're when you're pulling your finger and it and it it kind of stretches out a little bit and then comes back that's what we want to see we don't want to see that the joints are kind of locked or restricted we're also checking the muscle to see if certain muscles are tighter than others looking at the general posture of the patient laying down, standing up, and seat and seated. Okay, I'm going to have you lay on your side, facing me this way. Great. All right, great. All right, let's have you lay on your back. This one here, this one underneath. Great, and breathe in, and just let it go. Oh. <laughs> that felt good. Right now, here. Okay, good. I'm going to have you face down one more time, okay? sit on up and right here okay great so I do these videos to educate to inform to sometimes entertain <laughs> <laughs> if you've liked the video please click like and subscribe and I also do these videos a lot to give people an idea of the different treatments that are out there that are non-surgical, non-drug related treatments to help with shoulder pain or neck pain or whatever area that we're treating um, to give people an idea of what uh, these treatments look like. So if they do go to a chiropractor or even if they go to a physical therapist, some of the things, um, the different treatments we do can be similar there as well. We want people to have a better understanding of, of what we do. So. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you until next time.